Imagine the near future, you're in the doctor's office waiting, not for your blood to be taken, but to be sampled. They sample your blood, and not much later, they come back with a comprehensive report of all the disorders and diseases you could have. And on there, depression? Hi there, my name is Roman Kuhn. I'm an undergraduate researcher in the field of bioinformatics where we use cutting edge techniques to analyze huge sets of biological data. My project's focus is comparing the gene expression levels of patients with major depressive disorder to the gene expression levels of patients with bipolar disorder. Major depressive disorder is a complex mental health disorder that involves persistently depressed mood. Bipolar disorder involves episodes of depressed mood too, but it also involves episodes of mania as well. Recent literature suggests that these two disorders have an autoimmune component to them, meaning that in these patients, we see their immune system attacking their own bodies rather than any harmful pathogens. So I embarked on a novel investigation to understand how this autoimmune component differs between the two disorders so we can improve the nosology and be more informed about how we treat the two disorders. We're working with whole blood gene expression data from both patients with major depressive disorder and patients with bipolar disorder. We sample from the whole blood region because whole blood cells provide insight to the immune landscape cells and these sequencers to extract information about all the genes expressed in a person. But these sequencers generate a lot of data. Specifically, we're looking at more than 56,000 genes in each of our 75 samples. So we have to run our analyses on high-performance supercomputers like UT's very own Stampede 2. We look to see if the genes differ in their expression levels across the two groups using a technique called differential expression analysis. We also construct gene networks to see how the genes interact with each other. So what did we find? Well, we found that there was no significant differentially expressed genes between the two groups. So what does this mean moving forward? Well, our findings suggest that the mechanism by which the two disorders affect the body in the blood is similar. It also suggests that the brain could be responsible for additional differences between the two disorders. My research is a small but important step forward in the fight against mental health disorders and the promise of personalized medicine. We're on track to change the world, and it all starts here. Thanks for watching.